Chinese companies could sell up to a one trillion US dollars pile of dollar denominated assets as the US expected to cut interest rates, a move which could strengthen the Chinese yuan by up to 10%. Nigel Green, CEO of Dewear Group, one of the world's leading financial advisory and asset management firms, is issuing an alert about the move, driven by expected US interest rate cuts, which could profoundly affect the relationship between the Chinese yuan and the US dollar, with broad implications for global financial stability. Nigel Green says recent trends suggest that the Chinese companies having accumulated over $2 trillion US dollars in offshore investments primarily in US dollar assets are poised to make a significant shift. This accumulation has been a strategic response to higher yields available abroad than domestic yuan-denominated investments. But with the Federal Reserve likely to cut interest rates next month, the attractiveness of these dollar-denominated assets may diminish, prompting Chinese firms to consider repatriation of their capital. Before I proceed, I encourage you to consider liking the video and don't forget to share your views on the topic in the comment section below. Your feedback is invaluable for us and a wider audience around the world. As US borrowing costs are expected to decrease, the appeal of holding assets in dollars is likely to wane. Traditionally seeking higher returns in the US financial markets, Chinese corporations might redirect their investments back to China. Projections suggest that this repatriation could range from 400 billion US dollars to as much as 1 trillion US dollars. Such a substantial capital inflow could significantly impact the dollar's value. A significant shift in global financial dynamics may alter the relationship between the Chinese yuan and the US dollar. The anticipated capital shift is driven by the narrowing interest rate differential between the US and the Chinese markets. Nigel Green further added, over recent years, Chinese firms have diversified their portfolios into various U.S. assets, including treasuries, corporate bonds, and real estate. Yet, with the Fed signaling a pivot towards lower rates, the relative attractiveness of these investments is diminishing. As a result, Chinese firms may begin to see greater value in investing domestically, leading to a large-scale movement of funds back into yuan. The implications of such a move extend beyond just the yuan and the dollar. A significant appreciation of the yuan could reshape global trade dynamics, especially in emerging markets that compete with China in export sectors. If yuan strengthens considerably, it could advantage other Asian economies with weaker currencies, potentially altering regional trade balances and economic relationships, affirms Nigel Green. For global investors, this evolving scenario necessitates immediate action. The anticipated shift in currency values could lead to substantial changes in investment returns, risks, and opportunities. Investors should closely monitor developments in U.S. monetary policy and Chinese economic conditions to better understand the potential impacts on their portfolios. Adjusting investment strategies to account for a potentially stronger yuan and a weaker dollar could be crucial in managing risks and seizing new opportunities that arise from this shifting landscape. Green concludes. The chief executive of Eurizon SLJ Capital, Stephen Jen, known for his work on the dollar smile theory, predicts the Fed will cut rates more aggressively than markets are expecting if U.S. prices continue to fall. Also, an overvalued greenback and America's twin deficits bolster the conviction that the dollar will decline. The end result is a Chinese currency that could well march higher against the greenback. The rally could be even bigger if the People's Bank of China refrains from stepping in to soak up dollar liquidity, the chief executive of Eurizon SLJ Capital Stephen Jen said. Chinese firms' potential repatriation of U.S. dollar-denominated assets could lead to currency market shifts, potentially altering investments' returns, risks, 
and opportunities. Investors are being advised to prepare for potential seismic shifts in currency markets amid the possibility of Chinese firms repatriating substantial amounts of their US dollar denominated assets. Stephen Jen added, currency is now the biggest risk that's not priced properly across markets and the yuan may play an outsized role. Think an avalanche, Jen said, about the impact of the repatriation flows. The yuan will appreciate and probably be allowed to 5-10% to would be modest and acceptable to China. The case for yuan gains looks even stronger now after Fed Chair Jerome Powell said at the Jackson Hole Symposium that the time has come for the US to cut its policy rate. However, such a move isn't likely to happen immediately after the first Fed cut. It may occur when declines in the dollar accelerate amid a so-called soft landing scenario or where inflation eases in the US without triggering a recession, Jen said. China is also on a mission to minimize its exposure to the dollar. Chinese policymakers have observed how the United States weaponized the dollar against Russia. How did U.S. seize Russia's frozen dollar-denominated assets and want to give them to Ukraine? The Chinese realized the U.S. could use the dollar against China during the conflict. Now China wants to strengthen its currency yuan to be ready for the future economic face off with the US. China seems to be accelerating de-dollarization as trade relations seem unlikely to improve between Beijing and the US anytime soon. Most recently, the Biden administration has announced tariffs on a slew of advanced Chinese products, targeting everything from electric vehicles to batteries. China is also de-dollarizing its reserves as part of a broader movement to diversify global finance. And now, if China sells a $1 trillion pile of dollar-denominated assets as the U.S. cuts interest rates, it will not only strengthen the Chinese currency yuan by up to 10%, but it will be a hit on the dollar's global value and status. Beijing is also diving harder into purchasing gold to diversify from the dollar and dollar-denominated assets. Now, the metal makes up to 4.9% of Chinese reserves, the highest since 2015. It's a trend followed by other central banks who have also been snapping up bullion at record speeds. After witnessing how the West applied dollar restrictions on Russia in 2022, fear of US sanctions first triggered this pattern among central banks. Here the question is how big problem this is for the United States. Of course, dumping dollar-denominated assets by China will create a big gap in the U.S. Treasury as the federal government already runs massive deficits month after month. Foreign investors make up about one-third of the market for U.S. Treasuries. If China sells a one trillion pile of dollar-denominated assets, then it will be the hardest time for the U.S. and the dollar. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for new videos on important international topics.